Hello everyone, I'm Argama Witch, and I'm not using a model right now, but maybe I'll add one later. <laughs> um, I am going to be reviewing the uh, version 1 uh, Vroid Studios. This is not the beta which we've been working with, this is the new one. Uh, I've just installed it, I haven't looked at it yet, so this is going to be my first, um, my initial blind reaction to it, and then afterwards I'm going to use it to make a model and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so um, so I just updated. I got it from Steam. Uh, so version one, nope. And get started. Uh, agree? I agree. Oh, um, if you're a beginner, please use the basic usage. Uh, beta users can check for new features. Different. I'm just gonna skip that. No fucking care. Okay, look. So all right, so we have like my old models and stuff, which is pretty good. But we're gonna check out create new and then i'm gonna go check it out oh um you can add the body shape just a little too feminine okay loading is not too bad oh um okay what, what are we, oh are these just different eyes all right face set uh oh i think we can kind of narrow narrow down maybe can i click oh okay it's just very very slow uh, let me grab some eyeballs. Um, does it let me change the color? Feminine eyes. Hold on. Oh, everything is really slow. Hold on. Like, <laughs> it's a little jank, but it is just released. Oh, okay, so so you you have to be in full screen. If you're not in full screen, it's just not going to allow you. All right, what's feminine eyebrows, masculine eyes, feminine eyes. Ah! Okay. All right. I, I, I see what, what you got here. Um, can we do parameters like outside? Yeah, we can still move outside the parameters. That's great. Okay. I, I like that you're getting all this customized. Oh, and they have all the stuff up here. All right. I'm, I'm excited to look at the outfit, but we're going to kind of just go through this real quick. I just want to, I want to take a look. I, I, I like how we have all these extra, I like how we're, we're a little extra right now. Lips. Oh, okay. Let's do something that we can kind of see. It'll do like a nice, uh, you know. Okay, you don't, you, they're all fady, so it's going to be like a natural lip color. So we'll come back over here and just kind of have a slightly more natural lip color. Yeah, sure. Why not? And cheeks. Oh, you can add, add uh, the blush now, right? Yeah? No? Maybe? Something. There's barely some. I see a little something right there. You kind of see it? Custom. I don't even know how you would custom that. Let's see, if I hit custom and hit plus, edit texture. What did, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we can still edit our textures. That's good. How the frick do I get out of here? X. Close. Oh, no, I don't even want to do that. Close without saving. Okay, phew. That, I was afraid I was going to close the program down. All right, skin. Oh. Rounder ears. Where's our, uh, where's our, uh, oh, I like that you can put them flatter against the face. That's so good. Ear stretch. <gasps> Elephant ears. Eee! I love it. That's cute. Can I make it smaller, though? How do I make them smaller? Oh, you can remove the ears, too. Uh... Um... Okay, this has got to be on zero, I'm going to assume. And then remove yours. Rem remove yours. Okay, there we go. And it just <laughs> writes in. Okay. Okay, okay. Look, you're going to hear me say okay a lot. Ooh. Ha 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 some facial hair. Alright. Uh, yeah, I, I get what you're throwing down. Oh, no. Alright, let's none of that. Alright, let's see what we got for hairstyles because 
This is the one I'm a little worried about. Um, Alright, so these are just sets. Let's turn the sets off, because these look like you're gonna get the whole thing, you know? Hey look! The fucking buns! Everyone wants those buns! Edit hairstyle. Okay, so we can still work with the, uh... Bottomless, flat, triumphant, alright. Fluffy and straight. You get one or the other. You get nothing in between. Alright, so this is good. This is this is a lot like the other one, so we're not going too, too far uh, away from what we knew. Base hair. Yay! We can add a base hair color! We can- can we draw- oh, wait, 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 wait. Question. Question. Edit texture. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! We can edit our base hair! Fuck yeah! And I guess you can edit things and save it so it'll be in there for later on. Show Adam's apple. Okay. Soften collarbones. Nice, nice. Shoulder width. Okay. Uh... Waist width, okay, that's still the hips. And it's barely anything. You can squat, and you squat, but. So we don't have body shapes. That's that's a bummer. Alright, let's look at this outfit. So we got some custom stuff. We got um we got a whole set. Let's see what we can just like run out of the gate with. Alright, hoodie. Uniform. Uniform. Pink made doll. Okay. Oh, that is... That is some jank. Oh. Okay, so, you know, there's some outfits here that are a thing. Um, let's see what we have for tops. We have... Okay, so we have like sailor tops and whatever, and we can adjust some of the parameters. Uh, uniforms. That seems like a lot of uniforms. And hoodies and just basic clothes. Alright. I mean, I don't understand why you just can't do this and just like change the, the color, but sure. Alright, let's go to bottoms. Ooh. That's, uh, got some Moria affecting going on. This is bad. Don't... It, if you ever stream, don't use this. This creates a Moria effect on screen, which you can kind of see here, which is those weird little patterns. You see that weird pattern you're getting? Um, and I don't mean the stripes up and down, but it kind of, like, gives... Uh, yeah, don't, don't use these type of patterns on a stream or recording. It's just no bueno. This is doing it too. You can kind of see this weird pattern in there. Like, it's just supposed to be like this type of grid, but then when you get far enough back, you get like this weird, like, these weird, like, swirly patterns and stuff. Yeah, that's called mooring, and that's bad. Let's see what we have. We have dresses too, which are made, made, different types of made. Oh, that one's okay. Whoa. Yo. <laughs> I don't know about that top. But, you know, uh, uh, pull that, that top in a little bit, maybe. All right, anyways, um, neck, all right, it's just ties and shit. Inner top. Oh, we can change our inner top, too. That's pretty cool. Inner bottom, we can put panties on and socks. Oh, okay, so we have some nice shoes, you know. You can get you get those like um those nice slides to go <laughs> go with your new drip or whatever. <laughs> oh god, I hate myself for these. All right, anyway, so you know it's looking all right. Add an accessory. Glasses. Okay, so there was a glasses, and there was thick and thin glasses, and then there was animal ears. We'll do cat ears because why not? All right, we're gonna. Uh, okay, so you right click and we can remove. Then frame shapes. Ooh. Sh 
shape shape mm. shape oh okay all right let's uh we can move it forward off the face oh these are pretty flat they're pretty much like hair uh resting on the nose maybe pull them in a little bit Can we um, pull them up on our head? Larger frames. Oh, so we can thicken it there. Why would we need the? Never mind. Make the bridge thinner. Make the bridge thicker. Oh, okay. So there's like a lot of. Um... Oh, and you can actually make this like tighter or looser, so that way it goes behind the hair, or in front of the hair, which is not really working for us. So we're just gonna pull it in. All right. If um, this is. The resting on the nose. If I do this like a negative ten, where are you gonna put it? Not, not anywhere good. How about hundred? Okay, let's um let's see if we can get this. I'm gonna see if I can get this goddamn thing uh on the on the forehead. Sure. You know what? That's the best I'm gonna do with that one. All right, cat ears. Let's make them the same color as the hair because. Um, fur? Oh, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of fur. <laughs> Brownness? Oh, you can almost do like bear ears or mousy ears. I love it. All right, so I, I see what we're doing. These ear shapes, we're kind of getting different things. So you can almost go, uh, oh, you can go like fennec fox. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's cute. You can do these like different fems. So they can be floppy, wider, taller, smaller. You can droop them. Aww. What are stand-up ears? Rim lighting. Turn that shit off. Is that a photo mode? Okay, yeah, okay. So, this is, um... Alright, so it's it's a lot like, um... Regular v -Roid. I don't know what to say about this. I, and, and I guess at this point, like, that's... You're pretty much done with your model if you've picked everything, but... You're supposed to be able to layer, I thought. Well, let me go check out the edit the textures. Okay, I want to see how this is set up. Yeah, how do you... Okay, so it has a long coat on top of it, but how did you add the long coat? Add a template. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hold on, 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 hold on. Top, let's just... Hoodie, hoodie. Oh, okay, we can add it directly from here. Okay, that's... That's such fucking fly, man. Like, all right, I see what you're doing. So you can layer it that way. This doesn't really work very well, but you know, whatever. To each... it, it, it was mostly just to show that you could and how to do it. So it's just add template right there. Oh, I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And what do we have here? We have for beginners. Upload to have download the beta version. English. Oh, you can have a dark mode and a light mode. And then we just use this to export as VRM. Okay. <laughs> All right, what do we have here? Okay, so we can delete mesh, meshes, which is the transparent meshes, which we would want to do. It'd lower the things. Um, like anything you erase, it'll lower. Reduce materials. Combine hair mesh. Okay, great. I wonder what this looks like. I want to look at this in uh, Unity. We're gonna... Their naming has changed. It's more confusing and convoluted because that's the way we like it. User Vroid template. All right, so God, you have to make it long as shit. Neck, hen. Can the Hannah tool work with that? Let's try that out. Because I'm sure that's something people will want to know. Let's do a reader. Yeah, we're gonna do female because I really don't know. Oops, nope, cancel. I want the face. Number of vertices do not match. Okay, so as of, as of right now, you can't add perfect sync to it. Back to model selection! Hey, Back to model selection! <laughs> convert- before you start adding import model from the beta version, you need to convert its data. Alright, yeah, um... Yeah, select, save destination, and convert. Alright, yeah, that's fine. God, how would I- how do I do that? Oh no! I didn't want to do that! Control Z! Undo, undo! Ah! <laughs> I just want to edit the hair. How do I edit the hair if I have a custom one in here? 
Uh, okay, I can grab that and edit hairstyle. Overall hair. Okay, so I can go to overall hair there, but how do I get to the overall hair? All right, I don't, I don't really like the way that it does this, that there's no way to really get there outside of it. Oh, I do like that you can kind of grab things. What, what hair material? Oh, oh no, oh no. Um, how do we do hair bones? How do we bone our hair? Control points? No. All right, hold on, hold on. Maybe, maybe it's not in here. Uh, close without saving. All right, so all right, so I have my head here. Edit hair bounce. Okay. Okay, so now we get the bone groups. Oh, and it shows the color. I kind of like that. That I dig. Yeah, that's, that's groovy. All right. Um. All right, so you can import it in, and you can save it, I guess, and uh, we'll go to camera mode. I don't like this. I'm every time I see this, I'm thinking you click it, and it automatically goes chink. Oi. Oi. Okay, you're in camera mode, but you're not in camera mode. Please go to camera mode. Look, I don't know what, what it's doing. Uh... Sumimasa. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I I I clicked directly to camera mode. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. God, what did I do? As we break Vroid's new uh, stable version, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give you my thoughts. Um, I think for beginners, it's great. I like the fact that you can layer clothes. I like the fact that it has ears on there. That makes shit a lot easier. I like the fact that there's glasses. Also makes things easier. The way to get into these menus are hard AF. Like if I wanted to edit that hair without having to like click on something else, I honestly don't know how. Um, I had to add something to remove something in order to actually get it to uh, get over. Can I, can I go to the model selector please? Oh dear God, let me go back to the model selector. Anyways, so it does feel the, um, program still has some bugs for beginners who definitely do not have a lot of artistic ability or talent you know this is great it has a lot of presets in there you don't have to go hunt them down it's great let me uh relaunch it and see if it's done fuck some shit up yeah so i mean i don't hate it uh i really don't i don't know how i feel about it right now i find that it's a little hard to navigate um i'm gonna go straight to camera mode and see if it fucks up it might just fuck up and if that's the case, if you import your model, do not go directly to camera mode. Oh no, it seems to be okay. I don't know why I messed up before. Wow, oh, you are kind of laggy a little bit. The program's fine. It's, um... It allows you to layer clothes. That's pretty fucking cool. You don't have to take it into Blender. That's rad AF. Editing other things? Kind of a bitch. The menu, I know that it's trying to simplify things. I think... It does for like a character creator, but when, when it gets into the, um, the nitty gritty, like if you're trying to do something like I did here, it's probably going to be a lot more complicated to do, at least when it comes to like using the hair to make tails and stuff, because as you notice, we didn't see anything for tails. So you're still going to have to take it into elsewhere. You can't do your, uh, 52 blend shapes or any of that stuff. So unfortunately, um, Although I did mention that I was going to make an avatar, I really don't want to. I don't want to use this program right now. This program just feels like it stressed me out a little bit, and so I'm going to kind of avoid it. 
just for now. You still can't import VRMs. They're never gonna let you do that. Stop asking me, stop downvoting that video look. You just can't do it, okay, stop. Anyways, I, it, will I use this? Probably, I'll, I'll mess around with it a little bit later on. I don't feel like using it right now. There's nothing about it that really jumps out to me except for the cat ear things, which is kind of cute, but since I can't add all my blend shapes to it, I don't think I'd really want to use it at this moment in time. Uh, that being said, thank you for joining for this video. The new update, much easier to use for newbies. Uh, I definitely recommend it for those people. If you've already gotten used to the beta version, um, the only reason I would suggest this one is because you can layer clothes, but even then at this point, like, I don't know if it's worth it worth it per se. There's nothing really new about the clothes that they've added. They do have animal ears and that's kind of cute, so... There's pros and cons with everything. You know, you work what works best for you. Uh, for me, this is all I'm gonna do for now. If I feel like trying to make a video, I might make the new, um, since I have the new uh, Argama model that I'm working on, I may in the future try to make this as part of uh, a V-Roid or whatever, you know? Cause this is kind of a new look. So, same old outfit, new look. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll try making that design here in a future video and I'll record it and I'll share it with you. But for now, this is my review, early review, first look, uh, straight out of the box opinion of this. Uh, easier for beginners, people who are already familiar or intermediates are going to be like, nah. But, you know, you do you. Anyways, if you like this video and you want to see more from me, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, you can ask them down in the comments below. And remember that I am over on a Twitchy Witchy and I will see you guys in my next video, whenever that may be. Alright, bye!